Hey there, I'm Pete. I'm going to be giving you a full run through of how to set up your Luno Air Mattress today. Before setting up your Luno Air Mattress, you're going to want to hop in your vehicle and park in a flat, safe, legal parking spot. Before we set up the mattress, let's prep the vehicle. To start, pull the seats all the way forward. We'll take the seat backs and lift those all the way forward. Empty your trunk and back seat by moving all cargo to the front seats, paying close attention to remove any small or sharp objects that may have been left in the trunk. If you have excess or oversized gear, it's good to store either underneath the vehicle or up top in a storage chopper like we have here. Now we have the perfect surface for the Luno Air Mattress. Take your Luno Air Pump and plug it into your vehicle's 12 volt outlet, either in your front seat, back seat, or trunk cargo area. You may have headrests on the back of your seats. If they're removable, go ahead and remove them. You can place them behind your center console here or place them in your front seats. Next, we'll take the base extender with the valves facing up and inflate them. If your basic centers are inflated, you may notice that they may be a little bit higher than your folded down back seats. Go ahead and open your inflated valve, release some air, and you now have a level sleeping surface. Lay the mattress in the back of your vehicle with the pillow prints facing up. You want to slide the mattress all the way to the back of your seats. You can easily access the inflate valve from the door frame and start inflating. If you're traveling with a partner or want to maximize your sleeping space, inflate the other half of your mattress the same way. You can adjust each side independently for personalized level of comfort with a one-way inflation valve. If you're traveling solo, you have the option to fold the mattress in half and only inflate one side, allowing you space to store gear and equipment on the other half of the vehicle. Before tucking in, crack your windows about an inch to get a nice cross breeze to keep you cool and comfortable throughout the night. Don't forget to turn your vehicle off and take your keys out of the ignition. Always make sure the dome lights inside of your vehicle are turned off. Make your bed just how you like it. If a sleeping bag is all you need, great. If you want it to feel more like home, throw in a comforter and some pillows. Now enjoy some of the best rest you've had in your life. Taking down the Luno Air Mattress is just as easy as setting it up. It's definitely best to fully deflate and pack up your mattress before tossing your cargo in the trunk. If you'd like to deflate your mattress faster, take the nozzle of the pump, install it on top, place it into the deflate valve, and turn it on. Once the mattress is deflated, go ahead and fold the mattress in half. Fold it again once more on itself. You may want to pull the wings in, and then we're going to fold it in thirds. Once the mattress is deflated, you'll still need to deflate the base extenders. If you'd like a quicker deflate, go ahead and use your pump again. Sometimes after a night's rest, there may be condensation on the inside of your vehicle. Use your defrosters to evaporate the condensation. After you finish deflating the mattress, go ahead and put the items back into the carrying case. All right, and that's it. That's how you set up the Luno Air Mattress. Have fun on your trips and travels, and we'll see you out there. When you want to hit the road, bring everything you need and more with the Camp Galley Deluxe. Designed to be hung in use or laid flat on a tailgate or a camp table, the Camp Galley Deluxe is the versatile camp organization choice. Like a top kit for your camp kitchen, the Galley Deluxe hangs easily from your roof rack or wherever's handy for easy access anytime. Reinforced padded construction protects contents and holds its shape while in use. The Camp Galley Deluxe provides larger volume, which means more space to stash your cutting boards, dishes for four, and dishcloths too, while three zippered pockets wrangle your spices, spatulas, tongs, and other tools. There's even a handy hanger for wet dishcloths or paper towels, so you can run your camp kitchen like a tight ship. And you can finally bid farewell to those dusty, disorganized storage bins. The Camp Galley Deluxe zips to keep your camp kitchen clean. The new Camp Galley Deluxe from Kelty. Let's take this outside.
Hey, we're Adam and Brittany Fenimore. We live on the road full time and we use our moonshade almost every day. In this video, we'll walk through what comes in the box, how to set up your moonshade on a van or SUV, and walk through a few common questions. The setup is simple. Anchor, shade, poles, guy line, and enjoy. The most crucial part of your moonshade setup is figuring out where to anchor and which anchor to use. We made a video called Choose Your Moon Anchor that covers all of our anchor options in detail. You may want to pause and check out the Choose Your Moon Anchor video before watching this video. In addition to showing you how to set up the moonshade, we'll also show you how to set up your moonshade on hard ground, how to use a tall connect system, the strut pole, and guy lines. Before we show you all these things, we want to talk a little bit about how the moonshade performs in different weather like rain or wind. Structurally, moonshade acts like an umbrella because of its dome-like shape. Although it's not designed for rain as much as it is shade from the sun, it will shed water in light rain, dry fast, and using it in the rain will not adversely impact the shade top itself. If you do choose to use your moonshade in the rain, you can expect the fabric to get wet and for a few drips to come through the seams under heavy rainfall. If you'd like, you can seal the shade's top seams utilizing a waterproof sealant. It is important to note that no awning is made for excessive winds. So if the winds pick up and become too strong, you should pack away your moonshade for safety. Thank, Thank you for watching. This is the new Hopper M20 backpack cooler, and it's the perfect cooler for hands-free hauling. And hands-free hauling means that this cooler was specifically designed to take cold goods farther than they've ever gone before, thanks to a couple comfortable shoulder straps. It's ergonomically designed to be easy to carry and comfortable to wear, no matter how tall you are. This cooler uses our new MagShield access to keep the top sealed shut when you need it, but then stays open for easy loading and unloading. Okay, let's pack this up. I'm gonna add a large Yeti Thin Ice to supplement our bag dice. Like our other soft coolers, this one is built with cold cell foam that keeps up to 18 cans of your favorite beverage ice cold with a two to one ice to beer ratio. These magnets are incredibly strong, but we added a couple of buckles for an extra layer of protection. It has plenty of space for a full day on the river. And even though we're loading in beer today, it can fit a full bottle of wine standing upright. On the inside, the liner is made with leak proof material. So if you set it down in your trunk or on the floor, you know it won't leave any water behind. And on the outside, this ultra durable dry hide shell means that you don't have to worry about dropping this cooler on rocks or throwing it in the bed of a truck. Okay, so this is one of my favorite features, the hitch point grid. So you can connect accessories like the Sidekick dry gear case. This grid is great because you don't have to open the cooler to get to some of your essentials. Like I said before, this cooler is made to move. So let's get going. Hi, this is Matt with Fireside Outdoors, and today we're gonna to talk about the optional grill grates that we offer. We do offer two grill grates, the tri-fold and the quad-fold, and I'll talk about the difference of those shortly. First, we're gonna talk about the setup. Regardless of which grill grate that you purchase, you're gonna come, it's gonna come with, of course, the grates, it's gonna come with two of the grill rails, and it's gonna come with four stanchions. And I'm gonna show you how to attach it. I've already attached one stanchion to this side of the grill rail, and all I'm gonna do is the same thing. It slides on, the stanchion is threaded, so all I want to do is simply tighten it to where it is snug. I don't want to over tighten it. And as always, everything fits without any type of fasteners or any tools. Okay, so as I said, we had two different types of grill grates. What I have in my hands right now is the tri-fold. And you can see when I open up the tri-fold really easily, I simply lay it on top of the grill grates. This covers 75% of the pit, the pop-up the pop pit. Um, it could hold roughly 16 hamburgers. Uh, the nice thing about the tri-fold, what I like is that you can easily slide it to a hotter or cooler spot of the fire. If you also wanted to add more coals or more fuel to the fire, Simply flip it up and just add your coals. Okay, so now I have the quad fold. Uh, two differences between the tri fold and the quad fold. First of all, the quad fold is going to come in two different panels, but it goes on just as easy onto the grill rails. And unlike the tri fold, this is going to cover 100% of the pop up pit, which means you can grill roughly 24 burgers on it. 
makes it really nice if you're cooking for a large crowd of people, but it still offers the same convenience. You can move the grates over, add more charcoal, take charcoal out, nice and easy. Get low. This iconic camping love seat is designed with a lower base. A relaxed, slightly reclined design allows you to get your fill of chill without towering over the campfire. Built for two, dogs welcome, the low love seat changes the game of camping comfort. A sturdy, powder-coated steel frame stands up to any campsite shenanigans, while durable fabrics and quilted backrest means comfort that lasts as long as you do, and then some. Adjustable armrest means you'll always find just the right angle for camp chilling. Of course, we wouldn't want to leave your bevies out in the cold. Each adjustable armrest has an oversized insulated beverage holder, ready to receive everything from your favorite cold one to extra large water bottles and beyond. Use the included carry wrap to haul stuff around the campsite. It even doubles as a dog bed. Not that he'll need it. And when it's time to roll out, it all rolls up in a matter of seconds. The iconic low love seat from Kelty. Let's take this outside. For me, it's about reconnecting with the earth, being with animals, experiencing weather and the life that our ancestors had and then experiencing those hardships so you can appreciate your life that you have now. I'm a mechanical engineer. I work at a popular tech company on augmented reality devices and wearables. So I design components mechanically inside those devices. I also do overlanding and off-roading as a part-time hobby and do some other small-time mechanics such as 3D printing, prototyping, welding, fabricating, things like that. I got into overlanding over just a few years ago. It was kind of like a mix of my military career. We did a lot of hiking, rucking, you know, just basic by foot overlanding through the woods here in the Northwest. Uh, that started into more of like taking Humvees out and six pack trucks. And I decided I want to do that more myself. So, you know, we got tired of sleeping on the ground, got tired of walking everywhere uh, just because I wanted to travel hundreds of miles and it was taking me you know, a few days to do 10. And so it just kind of evolved into like, okay, I want to get off the ground. I'm tired of animals messing with me on the ground. I'm tired of lugging gear. I'm getting older. Let's just drive where we're going to go. Yeah, so overlanding is basically going over large stretches of land with just your vehicle and you're not traversing on roads, you're traversing off-road typically on unbeaten paths, maybe something that's very lightly used. Uh, and you'll take campsites that are something that you would normally find. So if they're not pre-made, you're making your own campsite and you're just kind of exploring and finding your way through the wilderness. Uh, a lot of times you don't have anything but whatever amenities you take with you. And so one of the great things about overlanding is you get to be alone with whatever you brought out there with you. So you find out real quick what you have and what you don't have. So weight becomes an issue because you don't want a super heavy truck. They get stuck easier. You want something lighter, more capable, more nimble. And then gear is a big factor because you need something that, no matter what kind of gear you have, you need something that's going to help you because you're by yourself typically. And one of those things that really comes in handy is things that have more than one purpose. So if you can eliminate some gear, drive down your weight, save space, you know, even in a full-size truck, you end up running out of room. You know, you have a spare tire in the bed, you've got your big cooler, you've got your stove. If you're like us, you have a big German Shepherd in there, uh, and you run out of space quick. So it's better to have something that takes up less space and provides multiple uses. For anyone who is actually into overlanding, and wants their gear to last. Because I can't tell you how annoying it is to break something when I'm 300 miles from a hardware store and that that was the only one I had. It's going to last. It's gonna, it's gonna take care of you and you're gonna take care of it. So it's 
It's one of those things you buy once and you forget about it. You know, I'm not going to buy another axe after this. You know, I'm looking for better tools all the time and something that really saves space, that gives you all the tools that you want, but doesn't take up an entire bin by itself. That's what I really need. Don't get stuck with a flat. Slime's Pro Series Flat Tire Repair Kit is one of the safest tire repair solutions on the market. It features inflate right technology, so you can set your desired tire pressure and start repairing with just the push of a button. Slime's Pro Series Flat Tire Repair Kit allows you to wait out of harm's way, while instantly tire repair sealant and air are injected into your tire. It even has a bright 350 lumen light for nighttime emergencies. In just six short minutes, you'll be back on the road with a repaired, fully inflated tire. Make sure to get your tire professionally repaired within three days or 100 miles. And remember to refill your flat tire repair kit with a new sealant cartridge for future flat tires. Slime's Pro Series line of products are rugged, built to last, and get the job done right. <laughs>